So it feels like it's been a really long week at work this week. I'm itching to get out and do some landscape photography. So Ruth and me have decided we're going to head up to Coniston in the Lake District and do some camping. The weather isn't looking fantastic, but do you know what? I don't really mind as long as we're in the outdoors. So I've arrived and I'm just walking along the shores of Coniston and the forecast for tomorrow morning is actually quite good in spite of it still being pretty awful right now. Um, I've been looking at the maps and there's a jetty in about 200 yards further along this footpath that I'm on and I think it's got a lot of potential. It's got a little kink in it which is unusual um, for jetties in this part of the country and I don't know why that is, maybe it's for docking or something like that, I don't know but um, it makes for an interesting composition so head in there now and uh, check it out get ready for tomorrow morning's session so obviously this is the jetty and I think it's going to work as a really nice shot providing we get some good light now my plan is to shoot this pre-dawn um, I really would like to do it before the sun comes up and get some nice pinks in the sky reflected in the water and my idea is, is not to stand on the jetty. A lot of shots that you see of jetties are, are directly located centrally and with the jetty running straight out the frame into the distance. But I think for me, because it's got this kink in it, I think it actually works if I stand over on the shale bank over onto the uh, right-hand side there. So I'm going to do that first and foremost when I get here in the morning. But if the sun does come up and we get some good light, my plan is to nip back to this end of the jetty and uh, shoot in a northerly direction and get the fells of Coniston Old Man to the left there and this nice outcrop of trees and then of course the jetty is a lead in from that. I'm not sure compositionally how it'll work. It seems to look alright through the camera. It just needs some good light. So fingers crossed it'll be a good shoot. See you in the morning. Well, blinking heck, the Brits like to party when they're camping, that's for sure. It must have gone quiet finally about half past three this morning, but we were surrounded by just dozens of parties, it seems. We went to bed about 11 and the noise, we like being at Glastonbury. But eventually, it did go quiet. There was a group of lads that were talking well into the night and they must have been in the tent and right at the end <laughs> one lad he could hear him he just he, sorry he threw up and he, i think he was in his tent and it probably wasn't his tent judging by the reaction of his mate and uh, shortly after that it did go quiet and got a little bit of sleep but probably got two hours of decent kip unbelievable i think we could be in here just starting to get some pinks coming into the sky. I wasn't really expecting it, but they're certainly coming. So I'm gonna take one or two quickly and get the camera nice and level. Got these nice little handy digital spirit levels on the back of the cameras these days. I'm gonna bracket the exposure. There's quite a lot of contrast. Um, the jetty legs on this side, cause they got the light behind them and they're quite dark. So I'll take several exposures under and over just to make sure that I get all the detail and then blend them later on in Photoshop. Got a 16 to 35 millimeter lens on. I'm round about the 30 mil end. Um, mirror lock up just to make sure there's no shake. And that's pretty much 
it nice and easy. Aperture wise f16, getting exposures of about one second or thereabouts. Yeah, really quite happy with that. So I've been watching the horizon for about half an hour and I really don't think that the sun's going to come out and I think even if it did I think the light on the northern fells there I think would be just far too harsh so that second shot just going to have to wait but really happy with the first one down on the shingle there that was a, a real bonus so I wasn't expecting the light to be quite as good as it was considering the evening that we had with all the rain but the clouds parted I got some nice subtle pinks and some blue hues so I really can't wait to get back and have a look at those on the PC um, so I think that'll do I think I'm going to head back grab some breakfast and just uh, relax enjoy the rest of the day so until next time bye for now